Anong grade na ba yung anak nyo? Tagal nang tapos sa mga bata. Ako naman ngayon. Manong fishball ang tawag sa kanya. Pero sa mga araw na yun, many years ago, higit pa sa fishballs ang binigay niya sa akin. He taught me na walang di natutupad na pangarap sa taong handang magsumikap. Dami niya na. Panghapunan. Pantoga. <laughs> Hey and there, hello. ladies and gents. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the third season of the University Alliance Cup featuring Valorant. The top 12 collegiate Valorant teams in the Philippines are all here competing to raise the campus torch, a price pool of over 150,000 pesos, the right to call themselves the best in the country, and scholarships, which I never had in my life. I'm Juicy Mercy, <laughs> and with me is Mochi, and we'll be your shoutcasters for today's matches. Mochi, I, I, I forgot to tell you that I wanted to... Uh, uh, I wanted to do the welcoming thing, but since mm -hmm. you wanted to welcome, you want to welcome us too? Yeah, I welcome you. I welcome back, everyone. This cool. <laughs> will be our second cool. match. Cool. <laughs> We're in, oh, yeah, it will be Pirates and Vanguards of New Year University. We're sent to mm. miss Teletakers, and by they left a message, just like what I've said earlier, and they stated. Their what message to UST Teletigers from NEU Paradigm Vanguards. Good luck, have fun, and watch out for our team because we will give our best shot to win this game. Hashtag Paradigm Shift. And for the side of the Whoa. UST Teletigers, um, their statement from the TGR Valor Manager, could and could watch out again for Arkiza in all tournaments he played First time niya kanina versus TUP ang paggamit ng jet. He's referring to the match yesterday. And mm -hmm. antok pa siya nun. So hindi oh! na namin siya papakainin ng breakfast at lunch para hindi na siya antok versus NEU. Okay. So oh, there we go. They they have their ace. They have their <laughs> ace player. If this was Haikyuu, he he would be like Kagiyama or no no. Kagiyama is not the ace of Haikyuu. I'm sorry. It was the samurai. I, I don't know. Don't ask me. Anyway, yeah, I, I, I don't know either. <laughs> it's, it's an anime. It's an anime. <laughs> I, I you know you know what I really love about Akan mm -hmm. Arena. It's because yeah, I. Is it? I I'm not a big fan of anime, right? But just recently, I was watching Haikyuu. Is this is a volleyball mm -hmm. game, really related to esports because there's just sports in it. But, but what I'm uh -huh. saying, is, just just bear with me, guys. What I'm saying is, it, it, it Haikyuu. <laughs> it's like high school people being you know pitted against each other through sports. Uh -huh. But Akad Arena has this venue where it, it's the same kind of concept. Only it's an esports, and uh, where where players could have this anime moment, like he's from GLSU. And it was a pretty good <laughs> shit, man. I should ban him. <laughs> you know, something like that. And that's why I like yeah. about Akin Arena. It, 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 I, I have this narrative in my mind where Happy 8K just goes, Get up, it's just 100%. It's just something like that, whatever. They're going to be moving to the seconds, the 30, seconds, 30 <laughs> seconds. And then Flashbuck comes in. Happy 8K is mm -hmm. like, I don't know, Happy 8K is like in his childhood, maybe eating a spoon and misses the spoon in his mouth. And that's where he <laughs> learned how to aim properly and gets the, those pixel perfect shots with his operator. That's what I like about the narrative. You're not gonna read it. That was my point. Anyway, you were in game number two. Oh, wow. our second game right here at Akin Arena. It's like you said, Paradigm Vanguards versus Tally Tigers. And I love uh -huh. how you message these players into what they wanted to say to each other. Mm -hmm. I, love that. Uh, I just don't have the connection and I would really ask weird questions. So I'd rather not. But uh, speaking of weird places, we're gonna be back oh my in Ascent God, Juicy. for <laughs> a lot of times. We're back in Ascent on day number mm -hmm. two again. Oh, Can we have a move on, please. But anyway, um, I think these players like to play Ascent, and you said a while ago, Ascent is a defender-sided map, which mm -hmm. um, I think will be the defenders first. Uh, it's a bit of an advantage mm -hmm. for them for being an Ascent. Yes, I actually agree. And everyone, if you're still in awe on what Juicy Bruce say earlier, basically what oh, he's God. saying that <laughs> someone, someone should make an anime adaptation for our players. Come on, Which like one? there's the storyline is there, the is. the plot is there. Come on, just 
Make it happen, everyone. Re Make remember it. the it. brothers. <laughs> remember the brothers. I'm excited for like players saying mm -hmm. I wanted to go against NEU because we had the same girl that we like, and then uh -huh. uh, something like that. It was the better <laughs> Jet player. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's a story you in there be the somewhere. Director of that. I, I just need to find it. I just need to find it properly. Or um, <laughs> let's say they were like elementary schoolmates, and um, then they parted ways. We were best friends before, <laughs> and we're meeting in Haven once again. Oh my! Let's just look, let's just look at that. If if ever there is, message any of the Acad Arena staff. Just message mm -hmm. them. Tell them there's a story. We're gonna make a story out of that. I'm not sure if if this is allowed, but yes, we we will. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, we're still back in Ascent Mochi. Do you think oh, we're gonna be moving on to another map in the next few hours? I hope. What, what map do you want to see? <laughs> what map do you want to see aside from Ascent? I'm sure. You I want to see a split map because. I've never seen a split map the past few days. All I'm seeing uh, is either a bind, either a set, or an ice box. But at the same time, I've never seen a split map the past days. And that is something that you really want to look out for, considering that a split map is actually a pretty difficult map to maneuver and master, uh, to be honest. And yeah, basically, that would be it. And I doubt that anyone's going to take the breeze route. Not going to no, lie. I no one. Breeze no so one. Much. And um, can somebody please pick your room? I haven't seen Yoros in season two. Mm. He was already out yeah. in season two. How come nobody plays him? He's a really good mm. agent. Just look at his spells. He gives you <laughs> walks. He, 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 yeah. he, he, I, I don't know. <laughs> that, that, that agent is just forgotten <laughs> in competitive. I mean, Tense. You know, to be fair, BCT. Tense mm -hmm. didn't pick out a Yoru. So, yeah. where, where is the uh, better Tense here in the Philippines? Collegiate esports teams. Ooh. Somebody play, plays Yoru. I'm going to give you 10 claps if you play your... Hey. Yeah. Hey. And we'll be counting out, counting those claps live, like one, two, consecutively. Yes. We'll have yes. to. I, I need we attention. To. <laughs> 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 um, if, if, you know, we have seen the map already, any agent composition that um, mm -hmm. you're hoping to see again here, Mochi, of course, you, you, you expect... Is the same thing? We were saying Raze a while ago, but there was no Raze. Yeah, no Raze. Which, was, which yeah. was nice. We got we got Reina instead. We got Reina yeah. instead, which mm -hmm. is a lot better. And um, Killjoy, you think Killjoy is still going to make an appearance? Yes, of course. Killjoy is really good in delaying all the pushes that's going to be happening. And as well as getting into as well with the Sentry and also trying to push the rest of the defenders away or the attackers away depending on what side you are on with the lockdown and it's pretty it gives a pretty good leverage as well for the whole benefit of the team but that mm -hmm. sova should be present too and i am looking forward for a breach oh yeah a breach uh i love yeah. how killjoy is really relevant today with this ultimate lockdown but Hi -hi, <laughs> yes. it, really is, it really is relevant First anyway guy, yeah. here we are paradigm vanguards will be starting out as the defenders i mean yesterday paradigm vanguards started as defenders i mean started out as attackers yesterday mm -hmm. but then um maybe once they shift into like being the defenders they will stand true to their name which which is vanguards meaning shield so you know in that specific game which i'm never gonna mention because <laughs> vanguard is a shield tally tigers however they are gonna be playing out nc saints um mm -hmm. sky he's coming back i can't believe yeah. sky is here uh that's a different uh is, is sky an initiator or yeah, controller she is she or is a an initiator i feel initiator, like she's yes. a sentinel i mean if you have a heal you're probably it's a, a half, sentinel yeah. <laughs> if you have likely. a heal, it, you know, you know the meta in, in, in esports. If you have a heal, uh -huh. you're a support. That's how it works. <laughs> Even if you're super tanky, you do a lot of damage. You have oh a my heal, God, you're so a support. That, that, right now. That's how it works. If you have a heal, you're a support. So that's why Choose Sky will always be uh, a sentinel in my eyes. But anyway, Telly Tigers. They do pick out their Astra. They mm -hmm. are Goop is already hovering over that Sova um, for for Paradigm Vanguard's Ooh. Aeonix. Um, are you playing out his Jet? And again, if yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Paradigm Vanguard's played against Aitamaraus, which is uh, a mm -hmm. bit of a not 
so good in the Fortune side because I Tamaros is one of the top three teams in in mm -hmm. Cat Arena ever since season one and two. I mean, if if in season one it was I Tamaros, it was LG Sports, it was uh, Viridis Arcus. In season two, um, I Tamaros came a bit came out short-handed because mm -hmm. of USC Portal Warriors who kind of ousted yeah. them from the top three. But um, you still can't deny that they're a very good team. And as I, as I am saying, Paradev Vanguard yesterday as a debut match in Division A, going up against Aitamaros, that was really hard. So, yeah. uh, so um, you know, maybe it's a bit of a change of pace for Paradev Vanguard right now, going up against Tele Tigers. Not saying that Tele Tigers are not one of the best, but uh, we just can't deny that Aitamaros really is one of the top tier teams here in Division A. And uh, it's kind of weird that uh, Paradev Vanguard <laughs> had to go up against them on their de debut match. Maybe it's uh, time for re redemption for Paradev Vanguard century. this time. Yeah, and let us see what will happen considering that the Teletargers are a bit confident with their message earlier and this might be a pretty spicy fight as they're still exchanging their guns here. Oh, it's a <laughs> classic ball. It's a ritual. Yeah, it's a ritual too. If they win this, I'm gonna do that in my pubs every day. I swear, if they, if they win this if they win this match, I'm gonna do that every day. And I think it's super effective. Yeah, it'll be a custom, yeah. It should be a standard. Oh, do this ritual. Yeah, we need oh, to circle the ritual too. tree. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's cute. That is really cute. Oh, uh, come on. Aeonix, what a, what a bum. He's not even joining in the fun. Oh, right, <laughs> oh anyway. my gosh, that is SPG. Please do not do that. Okay, okay oh. not, not that, not that. <laughs> um, hmm, wow, nice basketball. Mm. I, I don't play basketball IRL. Wow, I like that. <laughs> 17 seconds, we'll be at a, uh, at a hold. I think it's a te technical pause. Uh, Aeonix is, think, is still going to be reconnecting. So uh, we're going to be pausing for a while, but um, can you give me, Mochi, any predictions when it comes to points, final points in this in this, in this match? Hmm. Hmm. Let me go for Teletigers for this time. Uh, with, give me a score like 13-11. 13. Oh, maybe. But just don't say the team name. Don't say the team name. You don't want to be blasted by comments. Just say a team name. Maybe 13 11. This may be a close match. Yeah. Oh my god, stop shooting the god. He's <laughs> <laughs> just so idly praying, but they keep on knif knifing him, though. Oh my. I, I find it weird that Riot added Astra, right? Because mm -hmm. look at this. There's a guy that throws fireballs, there's a techie genius, there's a some sort of a wizard, there's a toxic girl, Viper. I love toxic that. girl? <laughs> toxic girl. Uh, mas pa may red flag, that's what I always say. And, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, spicy. Spicy stuff. Anyway, um, there's also a Sova, there's also a Sova uh, who just shoots arrows, and they literally put a god against them. Astra is considered to be a sen uh, some sort of a sen sentiment. I, I, I don't know, he's... He She's probably a goddess at, at, his, at her realm. But anyway, what I'm saying mm -hmm. is, um, if, if I were to go with my predictions, um, I think it's going to be a 13 8. Ooh, spicy prediction. But but it's going to be a, a 0 to 5 to 5, then become 7 to 8, 8 to 8, then one just pulls off, changes the lead. Mm -hmm. I've seen this yesterday. Because I was. No, I haven't seen this yesterday. <laughs> uh, in my dreams. And then I, I realized I haven't slept, so there was no dream. Uh -huh. I, I oh, was no. imagining this yesterday. I think that was a proper term. You're imagining it yesterday. I'm imagining it yesterday. <laughs> You're daydreaming about it. I wanted it. to say see it yesterday and then dream of it yesterday, but I forgot I haven't slept. Mm -hmm. So it's uh it's technically thought of this yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are okay. You I really need rest, bro. You know, I, I, <laughs> Yesterday, I wasn't wearing a hat. I, I wore a uh -huh. hat to cover up my eye bags. <laughs> smart! Oh, that's why! Play, smart! <laughs> so that's how you do it, folks. That's how you do it. If you play too much games and you think people are commenting on your eye bags, wear a hat. It covers mm -hmm. it up. But speaking of covers, um, one of the most effective covers in the game for me is um, Omens. Dark covers. Yeah, true. Power. It super effective. Cools down. I mean, unlike br uh, unlike brimstones. I'm sorry, old man. Um, you have the charge. <laughs> yeah, he has a charge, right? Three charges. And it's over yep. uh, for the round. Omen could play around like I don't know, four, five. Only smokes for early. Yeah, only smokes. That's Omen. He gives you like, the bad vibes and the jitters. That's how Omen works. And that's why I love mm -hmm. it when it, when it just talks to covers. He's really effective. I don't even consider Omen as a controller. If you think about it, Ooh. he has a plane. He has he has a smoke. And uh, he has a teleport. 
if you think about it, he's like a jet, but yeah, I do a, uh, a buff jet. Yeah, a buff kind of jet. Mm -hmm. Tailwind becomes a teleport, and then uh, just, just, just his ultimate is pretty strong. You know, changes the tides. And yeah, I agree. And I love how it covers up your audio cues, and also mm -hmm. um, it covers up the map. That's what I really like about yes. Omen. Because uh, it really happens a lot when it comes to clutches. I mean, it could be a two, mm -hmm. versus, two versus three, and then the opponent has like, uh, I mean, like, the, the two-man team standing has like an Omen. So he casts his ult, covers up all the uh, audio cues, covers up also the map, so it's a lot more better. And uh, I think mm -hmm. the stack of boss is taking super long. I hopefully the player is all right. Yeah, I hope so too. But at the same time, also thinking that Omen gives the jump scares. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I, I've been traumatized by a lot of omens in matches. Gonna pop off right off the bat in front of me without knowing yeah, they're, they're where they're coming from. Yeah, they're they're pretty pretty scary. <laughs> and then it, it appears out of nowhere. I'm like, why? Why? Thank you. I mean, I really hate it when he TPs in front of you and you see those red, g g g gleamy eyes. Like, mm -hmm. why does it have to be designed like that? I mean, I'm not complaining, but please, yeah. I'm, I'm a scaredy cat. I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm a strong man. I'm a growing man. But, uh, but uh, you know, th those eyes give me traumas. Or, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's, it's, it's all uh, in the eyes. It's all in the, <laughs> the eyes. of the beholder. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a nightmare to play with Omen with no headphones. Because you have to listen to your headphones as to where the, where the uh, ultimate is coming from. Mm -hmm. In general, you have to play Valorant with headphones because if you don't, it's, mm -hmm. it's gonna be super hard. And look at me, it's super hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mochi, um, how, how long have you been playing Valorant? How long have I been playing? I have played since Act 2. Yeah. Two. I, yeah, Act 2. Last year, September. What is that? I can't remember, but yeah, it's September. And then by the time I still, I have no completely no idea about fps because it's the first thing that i have a laptop viable enough to play something like play that something? yeah uh-huh yeah and at the same time i just really improve over time maybe it's low improvement rather because i came from iron um to bronze and right now i'm consistently getting gold and i don't have time to play tremendously because i love casting yeah, casting's uh -huh. my priority right now, and yeah, I think that's it. How about you, though? How long have you playing? When it came out, <laughs> it was locked down. I had no, yeah, I had no, I, had, I, I didn't have a job. <laughs> I didn't uh -huh. do anything at home. I was sitting there because I, I, I don't know. I was just sitting there, and then uh -huh. uh, there was this interview with Riot who says, "Interesting." We're, yeah, we're not releasing. Uh, there was this girl who says, "We're not releasing Riot's Valorant in four months." We're uh -huh. releasing it next week, and I'm like, what? what <laughs> I, 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 I immediately called up my friends. Hey, I think this this game's really cool. I, I, I don't play a lot of FPS. I'm a bad FPS player. But <laughs> then uh, when Valorant came out, I, I think it's because of the theme song, the Valorant theme song. Ooh, that yeah. One. And you it, got that. it got me home. It got me home. So I wanted to play the game. And then when I played <laughs> the game, I hated it so much at first because I didn't get any kills. And then, yeah, actually same. Like you, you keep getting those two yeah. seventeen three and the KDA. Exactly. <laughs> it's it took me like at that. <laughs> it took me a month to get do double digits, double digits oh, no. to to, to <laughs> well for for the kills until immediately I found I found this really cool gal who's really good at Valorant, so I decided to be better. And he mm -hmm. made a backstory right there, and then I decided <laughs> to be better. That's what I did. Anyway, we're heading back uh, into a re-lobby. We're creating it again. Ascent is still the map. Can, mm -hmm. we, change, can we ask uh, Katarina, can we change to something else, please? <laughs> we go for Haven. <laughs> like, Haven. lock out the Ascent map, please. Like, give yeah. them the five other maps except Ascent. <laughs> Let's just have a rule. In every third game of, 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 of any day, we ban out mm -hmm. Ascent automatically. So players will be Ooh. forced to pick another one. Haven would be good. I, I really like yeah, Haven Yeah, they should games. have that idea too, yeah. <laughs> Haven games are really thrilling for me. It's a huge map. It's a super huge map. And uh, team mm. coordination could really be tested out in those maps. That's why I really like Haven. And um, I don't know. I just like it. Anyway, going back to uh, the players. Mm -hmm. It looks like Ionic's still having a hard time. Still unable to lock in his agent though. But again, yeah. it's gonna be the same composition. Both still have the killjoys. But you know, Mochi, I, I forgot to ask this question. If if you were a Valorant agent, which agent would you play for? Wh which agent would you be? I'm a sage. Automatically, I'm a sage. <laughs> I'm 
Are you not just a shield? You're a sword? Ha! Yes. You are a boulder and I am a mountain. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You are how, about a you? how about you? How about you? Yeah, I'm cute. I don't know. I, I wanted to be brimstone because I want to feel old, but he's too old. He, he, I don't know. Uh, Mole. <laughs> Mole. My sky coach will take him down. Something like that. But yeah, I think brimstone is pretty cool. No, really. Mm -hmm. I, 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 no, 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 no. I want it to be sky. Ooh. I want to have pet. I don't have pets with growing up, so I want to have pets. Yeah, that's sweet. That's Comple sweet. That's completely sweet. unrelated. But anyway, <laughs> here we are, ladies and gents. The start for game number two here at second day at Ekaterina. You can see Valorant. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Paradigm Vanguards versus Jelly Tigers. Who will win? Will the Tigers crunch out the shields or will the shields stand true and keep the Tigers in the cage? So that's what we're going to be finding out. Ten seconds in, we're going to be seeing nearly the same kind of composition. The only new uh -huh. agent that we're seeing, uh, aside from the match a while ago, is Sky. Sky will be making a um, appearance here in our second game. Here. So I'm kind of excited for that one. Tell the Tigers. Careful. They mm -hmm. are still pausing. There is a pause. Again. Uh -huh. They're really getting a feel. They should really be comfortable for the even for shoot or match up in the night. But, hmm, yeah, this no, is a should... bit taking a while, yeah. They, they should be a lot more comfortable. Yeah, I would also mm -hmm. agree. Pretty much agree. They should be very, very comfortable with that one. 10 seconds in. So we're still waiting mm -hmm. here. Uh, so you mentioned um, you're with FIT. Yep, I I'm their us. press. Yes. I <laughs> yeah, I time her us. He's first. Yeah. So how, how, how nice is it that finally Collegiate Esports team already has this kind of support system? Really nice, considering that they're really supporting the fact or the idea of esports. Considering that not a lot of schools do that, or they just follow through once they've seen the success of the other. But at the mm -hmm. same time, it is pretty interesting having that because you just see that it may be the greatest substitute or the best substitute against the um, physical sports that we are witnessing. So kind of, I think that should be it. Because I have a shortness of breath. I'm not very athletic. Mm -hmm. But anyway, here we are. Start with Gator 1. All right, we're going to be watching Shinobi into the enemies right now. All right, here we go. Arkeza going for the entry. Fry tries to go as Chaos in the pit right here as Gordon is really having a lot of problems. Raven, though, gets the hedge on over to Vernon. Arkeza, though, takes down Queen mm. JM. Raven, though, already in second, be blinded by Sky, has mm. to move forward to Shadows to get a bit of a cover. 3 4 3 right now, as there is not much advantage to either both teams. And Sassane mm -hmm. already inside. Uh, already in shadows, Goop still holding out pizza. Maybe going for a snack. Could be in market. Mm -hmm. It's the rest of um, Tally Tiger moving forward. Speed, but there's going to be a fight coming down in from Ice Blue Mick. Takes down Mon. Sees where the Oscars fight has been dropped. Tries oh to go against the other guy. And is out. The only one left there Not is Goop. And Goop is going down to Ice Blue Mick. Going icy right now with 3Ks. Sheesh. Paradise Vanguard goes for the first round win. Nice wow, smile. look at these dudes. Yeah, look. Be that they got the first ever round. That, that is a boost in the crowd. Like, ice yes. blue. Ice yeah, and blue. Really icy, icy and hot on fire. It's deep. Mm -hmm. twice. That's how it works. And yeah. And pretty interesting bites too. Like, from what you're seeing, you're having the. The, a rifle and a series of specters, and this might be really the beneficial. They really want the upper hand early. Confidence. Yeah, the confidence that they have. Arquiza. Arquiza, Arquiza. Ice blooming Arquiza. with a bundle again. I mean, he, he's like, oh, there must be having Sheriff right now. I'm not scared to get one tap because it needs like two taps. And Ice Blooming mm -hmm. is more than ready to get these kills. Gets the reload. Still blind shots coming in from Tally Tigers, not hitting a single mark. Arquiza, however, will be tagged by the drone. And they do know where he is now. Baradam Vanguard's unable to decide into a uh, proper site yet. Stelly Tigers, they're still going to be moving in forward. Paradigm mm -hmm. Tigers really doing their best. The shields that they are, they are going to be holding out as much as they can. Three people already in um, B lobby from the Tally Tigers. It's both the composition of Soba, Sky, and Jet. Maybe a blind followed up by Reason Ball. Goes in. That will be the key for the Jet. He got blinded. Please, all teaming. Arkeza did not try to go. Tail is forward. Try to fly away with the Raven. 
Case J have also get the headshot on what to do, and that's them. They're out. Our keys are already inside. The sheriff only had a dream, but Burden takes him out. Aeonix is also there, already in the middle of the kill. Joy, only one remaining, will be able to get the kill. Left. Will be out of Joy. And there will be some random shots. Jump in from Raven, gets to Spectres. Tries to get him down, and he's out. Two points to Paradigm Vanguard. Still Tigers. Be able to answer yet with that eco ring. Yes, and from what we have seen, that has been a really good play. Oh, I like the combo the with that Hansen's bolt and the, uh, the Guiding Light, but at the same time, it did not play it onto their favor, considering that Raven is still onto the market area, trying to clear them out before they even get in. And that is something sad because no one's looking at the market by yeah. that time. No, no one can look at the market because their jet was blinded. Yeah, as well as <laughs> that got one. Blinded uh -huh. the heart. Maybe a bit of a miscommunication right there. Uh, Kelly Tigers have to have just about one. Ooh, a lot of Nebula to her about the answer right here. Oh, oh, goes in. Cloud Burst, Arkeza, same concept as the Jet from a while ago. Has the same tactic. Raven, though, hiding in shadows. Turret has already been spotted. Already been destroyed to Shinobi. Inside the cover, Nebula tries to move in forward. Arkeza, though, takes down two in the process. Mama takes down Shinobi. Five for two. Oh, Kelly Tigers will finally get it out. Raven is holding out his spot. Finally, he will be taken away. So here we are, Quiz JM, ready for the clutch, waiting for the perfect timing. NC Saiyan, though, will not be opting to peek. It's one versus three. Oh, a nice fake there. Quiz JM tried to jump, faking everybody that he will no longer be there, but there is a turn to spot him out. Oh, Quiz no. JM, only 28 HP, burning with the wall, but can't see him down. That's the kill, Joy. That is Valley Tigers. I really want to commend Raven from the last three rounds that we are seeing. Raven is just really popping up right off the bat considering that he's a sentinel. He's really good, uh, securing the potential frags that he can get, get taking down two along with him. And that is something that we need to look out for as well considering that he is really good with the placements of his boss and utilities and how he gets in along with those utilities really blends in well and the oh, synergy is really good one. not only with his team but also with his utilities really pointed. nice pointed 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 <laughs> the drone is spot out anybody tries to go for the nano perfectly predicted by the kill joy raven the beat the not the bell though he gets killed by Arkeza right away, but he's severely punished. He's only 58 minutes. He's not taking a single sheriff. Gets his doppelganger. Placing Get down four points too. Paradigm Vanguards again. Up to the defense. Ready for the retake. Two people left from Telly Tigers. It's both your Sentinel and your controller. What can they do? Burden, however, still has a full armor, full stack with a perfect gun. Though the Vandal, can he defend this? Your Astro will be hidden. Goes for the Nebula. Tries to hide Swamp everybody out. Beat the ball over right by Joyce. Quiz JM. But Swamp Grenade. It's for the perfect kill oh, at the end. Oh, make the three. Last player yeah. standing. Oh, no, not yet. Burden takes up Ice Blue Mate. Who is there? It's going to be an Astro versus Astro. Goddess versus Goddess. Who will be the better one? And that would be wow. gone. He takes out Shinobi saying, you are not a ninja here. I am the moon, the sun, the stars. Telly Tiger splits it into a tie. Mon is just the whole cosmos getting a good grip onto that area. But Burden... Can we just talk about Burden? If Raven can do the series, but he can do Ooh. the same thing as well. Getting three people down with him. And also, can we just talk about the fact that he really pushed in. Like once he got one, he never, maybe he assumed that the opponents would never thought that he'll be going for that sense and in return he did it pretty well here and also the odin i think they'd be took a bag with the side of the tigers that pretty big odin as well that big odin <laughs> did really well that big odin did really really well he was able to for perform with the size really good play right there by the sova nc same ready with phantom Ghastly towards this up here real trail blazer looking for any target but ice blue main though will take it off Lisa. Uh, oh, Ooh, Burden wants to have a big yeah. Burden decided of Hotelic Tigers. He's coming to get blinded. He will not oh, know yet. He's going to swing a short beat. Step down and be insane. The disrespect right there. Correct you are. Burden goes in. Nano Swallow starts to get thrown up. Spike planted. Whip. Locked up a Burden once again. He's not Burden. He's a big back. Burden towards Paradigm Vanguards going into yes, the defense. Sir. Attacker Killjoy. No lockdown. No, no players locked Here. down. But hey, you want to swing this very low it's three or two Greek and dark will be used will not spat out anybody at the moment Paradigm Vanguard mm -hmm. down three people with only two with only eight hp what can eonix do 
Ooh, we're gonna be careful with those wall bangs. As Shelly Tigers mm -hmm. in the kill. Oh, they take it down. Oh, his jam is out. Go! Gets the kill. Aeonix, the only one remaining. I think he can save. Save him. No. Let's go with the headshots. No. Fuck the wall bang. Gets down Aeonix. And Telly Tigers pulls away with the lead. Yeah, I think they could have opted for a save at that round, considering that they have good rosters of their guns, they can just supply those money for the for their um comrades. But at the same time, at least to do them. they Astral tried to uh, retake. But at the same time, it's pretty good for the side of the Tigers. Like they really go all out with that push, and considering that they all clear the potential utilities that might be scouring over there, it's still nice knowing that they've really before they even planted the spike, they already got those pickups. Give them the mad advantage too. Um, I, I love how Burden's name is really related to Burden. He's a big burden mm -hmm. to it. Part of Vanguard's getting three Ks, two Ks. And really confident <laughs> about it. He's a fake sentinel. He has a kill to it. That assassin. I've got your trail. Okay. Here comes the seeker. I'm gonna see it out though. It's gonna Spike be Ice Blue making it from a rollback over to Mon. Mon is out. Oh, Again, shot. Draven is still alive. Oh, he's gonna count the piece up. With a green new wheel that Entrus goes for the tail and tries to get for more kills. Burn and Vanguard's left with only one player over at mid. That's Raven. There's three people down. Should they be planting the spike? They're still a bit more cautious, not knowing where the killjoy is. All right, Raven. Spike Let's planted. And ever so slightly. If he misses this chance, Delhi Tigers will be scoring sub uh, uh, subsequently. So the, he, they gotta be careful with that one. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Quiet moment here Very for clear. Delhi Tigers. Goop. Did not get the proper timing right now. Goop's swap into the knife, but not enough. Sees an Odin shot right there, Raven. Is he gonna wait for the exit oh, frags? He tries to go for it. He gets yeah, the kill to Arkiza. He's gonna be going for the turret. Tur He's gonna be blinded right now by Anti Sane. But Anti Sane and Goop ready to get it down. Pro Stone fake. Is he gonna go for the deep use? Trail Phaser is gonna be here. Is he gonna be bolted enough? There's gonna be a few gunshots that I'm hearing. Is it gonna be an there? Astral. A few more and attackers have one. Not enough. Goop takes down Raven. Nice try though. Mm -hmm, nice try, but can we just talk about Arkiza just dancing onto the <laughs> B side? Like, dash in, kill, dash out, kill with the Cloudverse as well. And the rest of the team is just following those dashes in real the complete synergy and harmony with the rest. And that's a really good play once again from the side of the Tigers. But at the same time, our side of the Paradigm Vanguards are. They may be falling apart, and they should offer a complete stack of people alive rather than retaking with a minus one. Yep. Because okay. that would be really crucial. Oh, oh my! Raven. Raven with just two Aerises! He takes down Kill, and with the help of the Gravity Well, from the Astra, what a combo! It actually pulls out! And they were True. able to pull out that kind of gameplay. I love it, Raven, though, with a 2K to the LTS, the real effective. And that's the Dalek Tiger, you need one person. Oh, Hunter's Fury. Goop, you're going to be stuck there, and you're going to be out. Ice Blue Mink to fall back for Marshall, remaining. takes the kill. And one more enemy remaining, and that Ooh. is, and that's the Astra. Stuck in lobby, A lobby. Ice Blue Mink will get the kill. But it's also, will not be going down. He wants to take for a moment. Look at this. Somebody's oh, going no. in for and push him with a shot guard. Gets down the Astra. Kill. And that's Thrifty for Paradigm Vanguard. What a trick shot. Once Raven secured the two early kills from the A side, then automatically the rest of the team goes berserk. Like they rushed in, got that, that, that aggressive stance, and they're pretty confident with what they have too. And that Odin is just tilting the heck of the members of the Tele Tigers, not gonna lie, because it's really difficult to counter that Odin, especially if it's going all in full force. But at the same time, still really good play. Like. Take Alright, Goop is here. Ready with a drone. Tries to spot out anybody else. What can this man do? Alright, here we go. Mon is also here with the Astra. Ice Blue Mink, gotta get blind shot though with only 20 HP. He's gotta be careful. Ice Blue Mink needs, needs to get out. 3 to 4 is the score. Valley Tigers. Still a bit more cohesive this time. Mm -hmm. Not really decisive as to where to go. We have a minute left. Alright, Lear is gonna be destroyed instantly by Mon. This goddess just really wants to take back. the mortals away. Recovering right. it. Nebula over at mid. Trying to get it down. On the other side though, Ionix waiting in corners. 
As to check it out, is he gonna get the headshots? Oh. No MC is he'd actually whip, but the leader though fuck gets the wall back over to Yonix. And Yonix is out. It looks like MC saying. Well, right now, oh, Arkiza over the entry as wow. booming is down together with Shinobi. Arkiza being the duelist that he has gets remaining. those proper kills. Mondo with a headshot, one enemy remaining. And again, this is the kill, Joy. He's the old, only one to be left. It's Raven. But what will he do? I think he's opting to save. He does have the lockdown, mm -hmm. but it's going to be one versus five. He has to be in high alert. But look at them. Look at this. Tally Tigers. They're greedy. Do you want to find where Raven is? That's deadly. He's there hunting him all down. A lone bear in a cage? Oh, the, oh here we go. Tally Tigers with the uh, with the patience, mm -hmm. with the security, and with, uh, you know, <laughs> well, whatever it is. Uh, uh, <laughs> Servants and whatever. Uh, Tally Tigers don't want to push up. Yeah, uh, and I think I that, is a, that is a wise, wise choice. Not gonna well, a wise choice. Yeah. Better. Yeah. The discipline. The discipline from these guys. Pretty good. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Discipline. Yeah. However, <laughs> even he might die. He, Nearly escaped death right there, but Tally Tiger is able to pull off three to five into the scoreboards. And uh, I like how this game is getting more closer and closer and closer. And remember my predictions: it was going to be zero zero, five five, eight eight, and thirteen eight. Ooh. I thought of this yesterday. Yesterday, if, if even. I get this, wow, if I get this right again. Yeah, you're back in season two. Uh, I think it was me and Nausicaa, uh, semi-finals, near uh -huh. playoffs. We were able to predict how it's going to happen. It's going to be 13-13. We were able to do that. Uh, I think we're going to be having that buff today. It's going to be 0-0, zero, zero, mm -hmm. five, 5 It's the prediction buff, ladies and uh -huh. gents. 8-8, eight mm -hmm. eight, then 13-8. I gotta swear have that it's going to happen. Buff. If not, I'm going <laughs> to clap three times. Anyway, 126. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> well, what a, what a useless dare, but I, I like clapping, all right? Anyway, Tally Tigers moving forward towards B. Ready to go Enemy for it. Gets the shot. Eonix, he will get it down. It's already one down for Tally Tigers. Eonix with a click shot to the Phantom right there, though. Ice Blue Mink. Oh, gotta be careful. Bob's in the leer. What is he doing? Mm -hmm. He's looking up in the face, appreciating flowers. He's a plantita, Ice Blue Mink. <laughs> yes, he was looking at the flowers. I mean, the face yeah. too much. He's yeah. a plantita kind of thing. You want to divide it! Is the score? Well divided. Dude says the Astra, the goddess won't be here. Ajisa tailgates forward, tries to go for the shots. He won't get down. Quiz JM. Quiz JM is out. Eonix tails forward, goes in. Bond is dead. Eonix is out. That's three for four. Two for four right now. Oh no, my prediction is wrong. <laughs> Shinobi has to get there. Come on, give me the clutch. Give me the five five that I, I, I really wanted to serve. Shinobi, even with a wall, still a bit too hesitant. Need that Must not go for the kills. Blind shots coming in from Tally Tiger. He's trying to spot out where the rest of the and Vanguard are. Nebula is there. Kurt is going to be scored. Last oh, player standing. The Nebula is covered mm. out. Oh, the headshot from Burden. Really perfect as Raven is out. Finally, he's not the last man standing. But Goop takes down Shinobi. It's 3 6. My prediction is wrong. 6 6. <laughs> 6-6. Six, six. Last year, 6-6. Six, six. Okay, let's see. With a 6-6 six, six that you're talking about. But or, at, or, 18. Uh -huh. Then 13. I still eight, have two more. Yes, yeah, two more. <laughs> two more. You're really, two more. you're really taking off your chances with the prediction here, huh? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, how I, that's how I roll. That's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mochi, you were saying oh you, were, you, were, you were about to say something. You, you were going to say... I don't know, I've been distracted. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'm gonna play 36. Here we go. Uh, I, I did not plan to distract him. Oh, not my fault. She got blinded right now. NC Sane oh. probably confirms the location of the others near A site. Yeah, that is mm -hmm. A site. And that's Raven. I mean, that's the Arena. Ice Blue Mink. The Minky guy, the Nebula is there. The drone to cover it up too. Oh, be careful right there. He's gonna be tagged. Tag with both the drone and some gunshots. Location will be revealed for ice movement with only an arrows. So he's gotta be careful. Nebula is gonna be out trying to go for the shot. What no? Arkiza a lot faster with the reactions. Gets the headshot. Raven though at the same time trades over to Arkiza. And that's gonna be Talent Tigers going for the plant. Eonix with a shot. Got only 25 HP. It's got to be super careful. Quiz JM with the shot guards. Ooh, nice lineup. Lock. All right, can we get those lineups? Is it gonna work? Oh, look at the trailblazers. He's climbing up. The wolf, gotta be careful. Oh. Did not get Sova. Pretty close though. Hard that hard. is your organic drone, Sova. Organic drone. Organic drone. Do they? Do they work the wolf? Got to be well. Push JM. Push JM. Has got to be careful right now. His position is gonna be 
more than revealed. Does he say anybody else? Is he gonna go for you? Two down on the side of Kelly Tigers. Under Spirit, you made it by the Sova, but look at this. Quiz JM pops in the Vandal. The Sova is already trying to run away. Goomba's Player got to be standing. super careful, gets the shot, but no, Goomba's uh -huh. pop faster. One more, Goomba's no face. Should no meter even get the shot, and Goomba pushes that around perfectly in style. Amazing. Goop with the Hunter Spear. He's really well aware of his. With them, really great clutch coming from Group, Group, and yeah. at least at the same time, from what I've seen, they're all clumped up onto our site. And yeah, you deserve to get the time out of that. And by the way, yeah, going back, I really like how they're all clumped into the A site right before they're yeah. planting in. And sadly, those shock darts. Uh, shots would not connect, but at the same time, they're really good in uh, l letting these side of the Paradin vanguards go in, but at the same time at a cost. Because they just got into the heaven area one by one, like they're in a lineup, which is sadly the, the case, and one of them were killed too. One one by one <laughs> as well. Like they're on to that oh who's gonna who's gonna die next? Like that. And mm -hmm. at the same time, the Sova played this clutch game well. I thought it's gonna be for the side of the Paradigm Vanguards because at yeah, least they're so still getting those shades. But at the same time Oh my gosh, the Sova dude. Goopy is just this. Goop is just like this line that slides out into your life. Turn out. Uh-huh. Alright, so there we go. Coming in. Um, yeah, there we go. Three seven is the score. Five seconds into the uh, into the countdown. Going so uh, we're, 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 we're waiting for it. There we go. Everything's gonna be spotted. Rico and Bolt is also gonna be there. They're gonna be Whoop. spot out. Arkiza, ooh, quick with the cloud bursts. Even goes for the blank shots just to make sure that nobody else is there. Uh. Ooh, my gosh, though. But we'll be seeing that Arkiza will be falling down in the hands of the Unix and this is still a 4v5, but the Teletigers would be thinking and hesitating on what they should do. Mm -hmm. Alright, they're, 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 they're down one person. Who's uh -huh. JM? Alright. He did see. Alright, checking out Shadows. Pretty good uh, decision, actually. Mm hmm. Pretty nice. Alright, Goop is here and C Sane with a Phantom. Alright, Mochi, I swear. This is gonna be the first eight will be coming to Teletigers. Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought of that yesterday. <laughs> I thought of that yesterday. And then I think I'm wrong on this one. I, I don't know what to do anymore. Alright, here we go. Trailblazer and cast it down. They have saying on. Blocking vision, but the shot starts so nice. Play from Poise JM. Preemptively stopping there, but oh Burnin gets faster with the reactions. Quiz JM is out. Spawn already in sight. Attack the field to already with a lockdown. So that's gonna be group planting. Our clutcher mm -hmm. from a while ago really did his best. Yeah. Raven is going to be out. Let's go with blind shots, Raven. Waiting for the cold lockdown to get out. He doesn't have his own lockdown tool, but I think he will be using it. Mm -hmm. Off the sentry. The turret is there. Trying to see anybody else. No one. Oh. Not yet. Sentry is there, though. Sentry for sentry battle. Raven moves in. The Rico Bolt over there. The blind comes in. Lockdown not going to be casted as Eonix pops out of nowhere like a shinobi that he is. And he will be able to get down. 2 4 3 gets the shot. Moves out the alarm button, but no. And he said there was too much shot. But Eonix gets the handle. And this will make caught in the crossfire. 3 8 is the score. Last round before the switch. Yeah, and I think they executed late enough before the bomb ticks in and it goes boom. That is the sad part. Uh, I guess if they got in a bit more earlier and just regroup earlier, then they might even reverse the tides. I think that's just the thing, the denoma that I've seen from that encounter. That's pretty fast too. Pretty fast, uh, exactly. That, that was uh, that was a bright great term with their mochi. Pretty fast. So look at this. Mm -hmm. It's awkward that it's the last half, and then you see your your jet using a, a shotgun. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Four, 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 five, and Vanguards. I mean, they're really low on eco right now. So, uh, okay, I can't blame them too. Mon with a Vandal already charged in. Over at um, A side. Empress has been casted. Cloud burst. Is that a one way smoke, Mochi? Mm -hmm. Do you consider that a one way smoke? Might be, yeah. If they are trying to go for that aggressive stance, so it might be oh. a, a cloud uh, one way smoke, but. Oh, oh no. Ooh. I still make. 
This guy's giving me the the jeebies. <laughs> gotta be careful though. Yeah. He, 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 nearly he nearly escaped death twice. Nearly. Nearly. All right, I'm blooming. Get ready to get there. Emperor's already out, unable to use that with only one for the heals, with only one soul orb. Get out of my way. Oh, Mon. Oh, gotta be careful now. Is he gonna see this? He will see it now. He nearly went, I've but Mon gets the kill. Probably this time. Seekers will be out by MC Sane. Let's see what they will do. Oh, the birds will be out. Oh, Arkeza has to run away. Has to turn away, but no oh. Raven with the blind shots. With the blind shots. Oh. Four for four is the main concert right now. As MC Sane gets 2Ks near market. It's already two down. It's two for four. Selly Tiger successful with the blood, and that one made that two as Goof lands the final shot. Nine three is the score. Prediction gun wrong. Switching sides. Again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I Help. think so. I think it's so. over. Would you, would you get another shot? Nah. Another shot? Nah. I don't believe nah. in second chances. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, what? that's crazy. It's crazy. Yes. <laughs> 9-3 is your final score, ladies and gents. What can we do? I mean, what can Paradigm Vanguards do to recollect? Any thoughts so far, Mochi, as to what Paradigm Vanguards should adjust their uh, paradigming shift towards gaze, whatever? That's pretty... The, the overall stance is just pretty difficult because from the side of the Teletigers, they're really Let's pushing go. in. Like, they don't want them to offer a retake. Like, once they uh, try to offer a specific site, they'll go to the maze the whole maze of the whole descent map and we'll go in and out to those remaining members of the primitive vanguards and we pretty even know it right before the spike is being planted it's already the opposite the, it's already a minus one a minus exactly. two and i think this is something that we uh the, the we should take out the the street. To account to, but oh one nice crossfire Great. Well laid out by Tally Tigers. Paradigm Vangers are down two people. And what is what is that position of what is Sky doing? What is that? What is that position? I think he's last yelling. player standing. Ice blooming. Oh, last player standing. Our keys are just Ooh. one tap. Ice blooming and it's over already. And flawless. For them. Mm -hmm. Alright. 10 3 is a score for Tally Tigers. They really are ready to take it away. Okay, and my prediction is wrong too. I thought this will be a, a close game, but oh my gosh, just the tiger. It's, it's, it's just not over. Roaring. Roar, it, it, he said. It, it's roaring, yeah. They're pretty roaring, tell the tiger. It, but, but don't worry, it's, it's not yet over. It's not yet over. Because um, step over. three, mm -hmm. esports is such an unpredictable uh, scene. The step yeah, three it's could magic. race to 12 13. It is still a possibility. Mm -hmm. Or 11 to 13. Maybe Paradigm Vanguards will still be Block attacking. Sight. Eonix comes in with a classic. Block sight. Tail gates, tail with four. Oh, what's the game? Does he get it? Oh, the tech search of oh. the that gets down the Eonix. Oh. Make that two seats. Spike oh, down, down also be going down and Goop with the heads up. Oh, Shinobi and Raven though. Big trading out for Giza. Last player standing. With a close up partial, will take down Goop. Mon. On the other side, takes down Raven, but defenders wow. though. Mon, again, this is Giz. This does a lot more better. 11-3. Final score as Baron and Vanguard. They aren't able to score any, any less here. And yeah, can I just mention the tea bag that the one <laughs> did earlier? But yeah, that is something that we didn't expect. And the best thing for the Paradigm Vanguard to do is let the Teletigers taste their own medicine. Like what they did earlier, it is something that they should execute, but at the same time, I think it would be a difficult thing to do considering that earlier, from what we have observed, the cloud burst just gave them the leverage. You yeah. thought it would be something for the side of the paradigm, but at the same time, Tele Tigers took it into advantage, and before they even know it, it's to it. That is something that they should really think about as well, but there we go. Counter! Oh! Why is blooming? Taking away instantly like that. Raven though, just to go for some shots. He's gonna be inside sight. Tell the tigers. Only down one man. Finally, they've made an entry, but Aonix still gets NC Sane in the process. And here we go. Ice blooming gets down. Mon 
We're gonna be pushing wow. the Pizza right now. Pop into Raven. Going forward as someone tries to get the kill. He will be revealed as of the moment. Destroys Zerikan Ball too. Blind tops from the wall bang. Nearly chip damages Raven. Raven has nearly got to get away. Arkiza on the other side. Spike has been planted. That is a big reminder. Tally Tigers with two people left. Arkiza, can he get the shots? No, not yet. Only Phantom and goes to check for the corners near lobby, but no one is there. Three people already inside. One in boat house. Location will be revealed once again. All that one player. Arkiza will get a kill, but he will be taken down by Raven. Raven tries to go for more goop with only a frenzy. What can he do? Spike has slowly been taken down. Two for one. Here we go. The turrets are getting him to kill. And Raven nails the final shot. And finally, Paradigm Vanguard gets a point. Attackers won 4-11. Getting closer and closer to that close match. Ready for 12-15. Hey, the counter t back coming from the side of the Paradigm oh. Vanguard. Ooh, they're something. They won't let them reach the match point without uh, war. Like, they're really going all in. That is something that they should do. Like, yeah, once again, let them taste their own medicine. And that's a really good push coming from the side of Paradigm Vanguard. And I hope that it still prospers, considering though... Can I just mention this? There's an Odin for the side of the Tele Tiger, so they should really watch out for that. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, nice kill there by Raven. Take down Burden. It's Tele Tigers out and about again. Another hero, another agent, Mon. Ready to go with the Phantom. This green, golden Phantom, but Trailblazer from NC Sane might spot out two members from Paradigm Vanguard. Insta Cloudburst mm -hmm. from the jet. Just to secure, just to secure the retreat. Arkiza. Tailwind's away. Taking chip damage will hide over to wine. Uh -huh. get cool. Ghost for the Odin. That performance oh takes down the killjoy right away. Raven is out. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. This Sova making things even on the 16th round. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Still four, waiting four. for it. Look at Goop again with his cheeky uh, Odin gameplay. <laughs> Bringing out the size. Puts in the drone. Tries to check out market. There's nobody there. Oh, you will see it. No, there's a nebula to cover out the jet. 30 seconds uh, left. Footsteps, though. Footsteps will be heard. There's going to be a leer. Slide shots all over the Odin. and goes for the recon. Spot out anybody. The shot guard will be there connecting over to Goop. Goop will be taking Ooh. a bit of a chip damage. So will Ghost GM. 4 for 4 done. Shinobi is planting. Shot dart. Will he be able to land it perfectly this Spike time? planted. Nope, did not get the nope. kill. Spike has planted. Arkiza, though, on the other side, gets down Ice Blue Mink. It's 4 for 3. Karen and Vanguard down uh. one man, too. Gonna be blinded as of now. And the Yonix, though, will be taken out. But no, as he says, he's it down. Again, he says, it's my bad. I blinded you, my friend. I will avenge you now. As he moves in forward, gets to kill over to Yonix. 3 for 2. Spike has been taken down. One and enemy remaining. Now. Right there, they do spot out where it is. Astra, the only one remaining that's gonna be Shinobi getting the kill. But come on, with the crossfire, gets the kill. Will there be enough time in five, four, three? It's going to And that will be match point for Tally Tigers. Yeah, pretty good execution coming from the side of the Tally Tigers. Okay, I want to I wanna commend Aeonix too, considering that he took the off angle onto the, the B main and well as the fact that the Oda is just doing most of the job of damaging the rest of the members of the Paradigm Vanguards and the remaining members will be ending off the kills. And I would also like to commend them for being methodical of their um, retake. Into the unknown. Like you, True. you see them coming from different areas, but at the same time, they moved unanimously. And that is something that you really want to offer a retake, considering that you already have the advantage in terms of numbers. Yeah. Oh my gosh, no. Nice kill for what? the frenzy right there. Nice key. Get out of my way. Sheesh. He crazy. Sheesh. <laughs> With the arrows, all right. There is a blade storm ready to go for Paradigm Vanguard's jet. So let's see what this gal will do. Is moving ever so slightly, but that is in mid. Uh, that is in lobby. So it's mm -hmm. a lot more near. So Goop has got to get ready. And this is the second time. Last round, that was the second time I've seen an ally blind. The only reason yep. why the, the um, Tally Tiger's jet died is because of um, NC State blinded them actually. Oh, the Odin shot it finally works out. Textbook mechanic right there by Goop. Takes him down and celebrates <laughs> by shooting up the sky. Goopy, goopy, goopy. Guy is feeling himself. He's feeling himself. 
All right, MC Saint. Probably in deal right now. Goes up one of the Tries to go for the blind, and that is his win. With even just two seconds in, and that is how Tiger is just winning without us even noticing. Mm hmm. And it's pretty similar to the standing yesterday's fourth routine as well. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is something that we did not expect, ladies and gentlemen, because sell a tiger, so re Growling too much. This game. Yeah, they're really growling, growling too much, and they yeah. want that win. They're thirsty for that. They're yeah, hungry. They're, they're, they're hungry for the win. And uh, I would understand. I would I would be very happy too. But anyway, uh, before everything else, guys, their tournament is presented by Asus Republic of Gamers, powered by the mm -hmm. reigning king of gaming laptops, the ROG Zephyrus S17, featuring a, an 11th gen Intel Core i9 CPU mm -hmm. cooled with liquid wow. metal and GeForce RTX 3080 GPU. To take your gaming experience and your Valorant Ch shooting tips to the next level, hashtag for those who dare. Available in your nearest Asus and ROG accredited stores nationwide. Hop onto rog.academarena.com to check it out. So yeah, ROG, thank you. Republic of Gamers, baby. But anyway, talking about mm -hmm. highlights. Mochi, if you look at the screen right now, um, too much highlights happening in one game, although it was a landslide victory by the True. Tally Tigers. There, there were still a lot mm -hmm. of highlights that, that, that both teams were able to pull out. Headshots, um, some textbook Odin gameplays. Um, just, just everything in between, really. And uh, I just can't get over Goop's Hunter's Fury, wherein he was mm -hmm. able to clutch out that round. You know, fast reaction, fast uh, decision-making. That's This is what separates these players from, from normal pub players. Yeah, and I also like the fact that they're not getting flashy with their plays because usually, from what we have seen earlier, the players just really opt for those flicks, those um, stuff, kind of stuff that uh, relies on to the being flashy gameplay but at the same time like what you said everything is on to the book and they're really just focusing on to the objective Whoa. regardless of what they're doing and they're just doing everything well it's it's consecutively you, you know consecutive rounds has been won by the side of the tell the tigers and they're really consistent with how their stance or how they're accepting the side of the mm -hmm. paradigm too and that is something great about them. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, it's the shields this time. It's their second day, still unable mm -hmm. to perform out well. Maybe the maybe it's a closure shock uh, coming yeah. into Division A. They're like, oh, these teams are really great. Maybe a bit of an adjustment. Uh, I, I still believe that Paradise Vanguards can still score out more. I'm pretty sure with that. I stake my uh -huh. claps on it. Claps. I, I just <laughs> really want to do that. But anyway, should we? Should we count um, it? <laughs> yeah. That was still. That was just still. That was just still. But anyway, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I I I miss my claps from time to time. But anyway, Wait, guys. Um, that? that was that was pretty great, Mochi. Um, I think coming up next there will also be another game. It's uh, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be MUM versus Holy Angels University. Ooh, MUM is yeah. uh Mapu is MUM Mapu? Mapu Makati, yes. Ah, there we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you know, with that being said, guys, this is a collegiate tournament. So if you want to bring esports to your school, the Academy Alliance program is here for you. Alliance members, uh, Alliance member clubs get access to our exclusive tournaments, mentorship, event support, and of course, the Global Esports Merit Scholarship. We'll learn how to join the Alliance today at academy.com forward slash alliance. And also get the chance to participate at Academy's major tournaments, win bragging rights, and exciting prizes from our partners, brand, uh, partner mm -hmm. brands. Visit Visit app.academy.com. I made an account already. Go through the registration process you and you are good to go. You should really register. I am a student, just not enrolled. <laughs> I'm, still a stu I'm still a student, just not enrolled. <laughs> but anyway, let's go to a break. We'll be taking a very, very short break. Mochi and Nasca will be back after this. Manong fishbowl ang tawag sa kanya. Every day siya kung dumating. Kaya parang institusyon na siya dito sa area namin. Minsan, sobrang late na. Andun pa rin si Manong fishbowl. Kinagabi kayo, Manong! Uh, enrollment eh. After some time, yung karito ni Manong Fishbowl, nadagdagan ng may bike. Hanggang kabilang kali, nagtitinda na rin kayo, Manong. 
ang notebook. Sunod na taon, pati menu na dagdagan. Nax, may squid balls na. Mahal kasi ang lapis. Ikikyo pa dyan. Bilib na bilib ako kay Manong Fishball. Akalain mong yung maliit niyang kariton na palaki niya ng ganun? 